find out the number of terms in the following binomial expression. Okay, so you are given certain binomial expressions, four in number, one, two, three, four, and you are asked to find out how many terms would this expansion contain. Okay, now, normally a binomial expression is written as x plus a to the power n okay where n is the index okay and x and a are basically two real numbers forming part of the binomial expression okay now in this case if you compare 3x minus 4y to the power 10 with this form of binomial expression you get x is equal to 3x you get a is equal to minus 4y and you've got n is equal to 10 right now in such a form of expression the number of terms or n is basically equal to or rather let's not put it as n because n we are already using as the index let's say the number of terms capital n is equal to n plus 1 right so in this case we've got the value of small n is equal to 10 Therefore, the number of terms in this particular expression will be 10 plus 1, 11. So there will be 11 terms in all in the expression 3x minus 4y bracket to the power 10. Now let's move on to the second case. Okay. Now this is a little interesting. Why? Because if you notice, this is something like 1 plus 2 root 3x plus 1 minus 2 root 3x and both of them are raised to the same power n. So this kind of expression basically can be written as x plus a to the power n plus x plus x minus a to the power n. Right? Now in these kinds of expression, binomial expression, where n is common, okay, and you have x plus a and x minus a, the number of terms or n can be written as n plus 1 divided by 2. Now you must be wondering why does this happen? You can actually expand these two, but what will happen is that because there is a minus x minus a here, this will interact with the terms of this particular thing and there will be cancellations right so keeping this in mind the number of terms n in this case is equal to n plus 1 by 2 please note that this is applicable only when n is odd now in this case the value of n is how much it is 7 which is an odd number right if it is even then n is equal to n by 2 plus 1 so there's a little bit of a difference between these two forms okay so let us see so n basically in this case becomes equal to n plus 1 by 2 so we have 7 as n so this will become 7 plus 1 upon 2 or 8 upon 2 which is nothing but 4 right let's see the third question Again, the third one, if you compare, is again something similar. x plus a to the power n plus x minus a to the power n. So it's 1 plus 2 root 3x plus 1 minus 2 root 3x. The only difference between second and third is that the value of n here is even. And as I explained to you, if n is even, then the number of terms, capital N, is equal to n by 2 plus 1. So what's the value of small n here? Small n is equal to 8 in this case. Therefore, the capital N becomes n by 2 or 8 divided by 2 plus 1, which is nothing but 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. So depending on whether the n is odd or even, the formula in terms of calculating the number of terms changes. Let's see the last one. 4 plus x squared plus 4x. Well, can you see something in this particular stuff? 
if you notice carefully this is nothing but x plus 2 whole square this will give you what x square plus b square is 4 plus 2ab 4x right so you can write this as x plus 2 whole square raised to the power 7 now if you recall we saw that a to the power m to the power n is actually equal to a to the power m n or in other words this will become x plus 2 to the power 2 into 7 14 right so we've got n which is 14 and this is not in the, any of these forms it's actually simply in this particular form so we will have capital n is equal to n plus 1 14 plus 1 15 so the number of terms is 15 right so that's how basically you calculate as to how many terms would you have in a binomial expression